Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this Papasan chair revamp. So this is the first look of it. It was given to me by my dad and I wanted to keep it as like a nice little comfy chair to read in or just relax in and then this is going to be our end result. So let's get started. Supplies that you'll need for this DIY is going to be a needle and thread, an old fuzzy blanket with a liner, spray paint, cardboard, scissors, mask, and some fabric spray. First thing that I did was separate my cushion from the frame. I wanted to spray down the cushion with a nice scent so that way when I'm sitting on it I can smell something nice and pleasant. And also use Lysol to get rid of any germs. The chair came out of an old storage unit, so I wanted to make sure that there was nothing left on the frame. So I wiped it down um, and sprayed it with Lysol as well. I wanted to keep the design nice and simple, so I'll be using a black lager for the spray. So I need my mask and my gloves, and I take the project outside with the cardboard underneath. I will be using it to make sure that I'm not spraying the grass in the backyard, and it's well ventilated outside. And as you can see, I do spray all sides so that way I'm no longer seeing the original brown color underneath. It did take me roughly five to six layers, so two cans or more. To keep this DIY nice and short, I will be doing the rest of the work with the cushion inside while the frame dries. So needle thread in my blanket. This is an old blanket that I had that actually has a liner and I'll be opening it so that way I have two pieces, so a top and bottom layer. Here you'll see me cutting the thread that is holding together the liner in the top of the fuzzy blanket. I'm cutting it open, but not to detach it from one another. So I'm just cutting open one side so that way I can slide the cushion in and then just sew the open side. Once I have the side open wide enough, I slide the cushion in and I prepare the open side to be sewn by hand. For this part, I will be making sure that I have my needle and thread ready to go. I often like to use sewing pins to secure the fabric so that way it doesn't move. Once I have my area pinned, I'll take literally my needle and thread and just do a basic stitch. Because I used a square blanket and my cushion is round, I'm going to take the leftover corners that are sticking out and just go ahead and pin them and then sew them to the cushion so that way I have a circular shape. It may look a little crazy on the back side, but you're not going to be able to see this once the cushion goes back on the frame. So I allow my frame to dry outside and it's now the evening time. So as you can see, it has a semi matte look to it, but it is kind of like a dark brown, almost like a black shade, but I do like that it has a nice little luster to it. Before I move the entire chair upstairs, I want to put the cushion on just to see what it's going to look like and where I need to position it so that way it looks very flattering to anyone that enters my room. It did take a few attempts to maneuver the cushion around so that way you can't see the little triangle peaks sticking out on the side. But once I did get it in the right position, it looked awesome. I was able to complete this DIY in one day. So just as a reminder, this is what it, the chair looked like before. And this is what it looked like after once I placed it in my room. If you have fairly light colored walls like me, then it is a good idea to protect the back of the chair with something that's not gonna scrape the walls. But thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe to Alexis Nicole and I'll see you guys next time.